So this place is absolutely fascinating. First thing you want to do when you see such a view, is get out your drone, get a shop from there. Now it's time to start the ER30 trip Bali second edition. Just gonna walk over to a van and then we're driving up to Ubud. That looks like our van, let's see who's here. So we're getting closer, we're in Ubud now. And we're looking for our tree house. We're staying in a five-story tree house for the next few days. I can see some bamboo houses here, but not sure if that's the final destination yet. This is like 20 minutes south of Ubud, but somewhere on the way to Ubud. It certainly feels a lot more like jungle here than it did down in Seminyak and Kuta. I'm excited! Excited! Super curious how this is gonna look and work. Pictures looked amazing and it looks like we just got to the entrance here. <laughs> Everyone's excited about the location. This is just a guest house, but it already has like three beds. It looks pretty cool. It's all bamboo. This is the five-story tree house or bamboo house that we're renting for the next few days. It just looks gorgeous. We can't wait to get in there. Right now the guest is still in there, so we're just in one of the guest houses next to it. This place is just super interesting. Ricky, what are we gonna have for lunch? Uh, Balinese cuisine, duck, and anyone vegetarian here, I think they got some uh, vegetables as well. Duck and veggies. I'm just looking forward to the dessert bar tonight. That's my real, that's where my focus is. I'm excited for some deep sharing and learnings from some pretty awesome people. So that's what I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> we made it to boot now and uh, we're going to have lunch. This place here. So we just finished lunch at this uh, restaurant here. Unfortunately, I didn't have lunch because um, I'm sticking to my one meal per day fasting. But I've had a bit of uh, coconut juice. From what I could tell, the food was pretty good here. And then we did about an hour of sharing. We introduced ourselves, gave a bit of background on of our personal lives and our businesses. Also talked about how we can be present within the next few days. If anyone has any calls coming up or anything that's stuck on their mind or in the back of their mind constantly, that keeps them from being fully present. Now we're headed over to tour a co-working space and then do a bit of sharing there. We're going to this co-working space, hotel, co-working office place. It's called Rome. So we just finished first part of our tour here, Q&A with Michelle, who's the community manager for Rome Space here in Nobut. What was your number one takeaway? I think it's a really interesting concept. I think it's really cool connecting people that um, yeah might be lonely or might be looking for more of a community space rather than living alone in an apartment on the 20th floor by themselves and not having as much social engagement. So I think it's an awesome concept. I'm excited to have a look around. live right now in Rome's uh, superior suite. So here's the bath we're about to run. Beautiful, beautiful bath. And the toilet. Boys speaking voice. What's that under your head there? Yeah. I can't read it. Can you help me read it? I think it must be Definity. Beautiful place, technology, it is voila. Done. Beautiful explanation. So we went to Roma, co-living space. My idea for long, for, for years. Because you're also running a co-working, uh, yeah, co-living yeah, co space, right? Space, yeah. In China. And all ER30 members can come stay with you in Shanghai, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Shanghai is probably the destination yeah. of one of our next events. Nice. So we're getting back to the bamboo house and it's time to check in, see this place from the inside. place is absolutely fascinating. People are just running up and down like little kids, trying to find all the rooms. There's a rooftop, which I haven't seen yet. There's, a, I think in total, it's like five or six stories. It's a TV room, massage room, and it's all bamboo. And there's just a, this incredible view from here. I don't think it will come off on the camera anywhere as impressive as it is in real life, but still, it's so nice. First thing you want to do when you see such a view, is get out your drone. A shop from there. Mm -hmm. 
before leaving for dinner, which we're doing right now, we worked on an exercise called Lifeline. It's an EO exercise. Take a piece of paper and a pen and use the horizontal axis as time. And you map out the time between the day you were born and today. And then on the vertical axis, you map out how happy you were during those parts of your life. You start by breaking down the horizontal line into five year segments or one year segments, and then writing down key moments in your life. And this could be positive moments like marriage, getting kids, finishing school, getting your first job, starting your first company, getting to your first million, and negative events, breakups, heartbreaks, uh, people you've lost and so on. And then you map out the line between those points and you kind of visualize how you felt and how present you were. And then you basically prepare that and then you present it to the whole group and you talk for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and present to everyone your lifeline. So the line that connects those dots is what we call the lifeline. And it's a pretty powerful exercise, allows us to very quickly connect and understand everyone's background and understand understand everyone's emotional baggage and where they come from. And so it's a very popular exercise. It's also, it can be quite emotional and it's intense um, because you get to hear like about the worst and the best moments of people's lives and nothing in between. So we started doing that. Now we're gonna head out to dinner and then tomorrow we're gonna continue that. And just one takeaway, I mean, for me, it's actually cool that Elena is here because we get to share our lifelines with each other and I learned some stuff about her that I might otherwise not have known. And so if you have friends or partners that you feel you wanna connect through a certain exercise, Maybe Lifeline could be a fun idea to do. Now we're gonna head out to dinner, and with that, I'll talk to you tomorrow.